Hey guys, what's up? It's your friend Keith, and I am here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in South End on Sea, England, baby. We are here with a really cool, very rare Hofner German built guitar. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, smash subscribe. It's totally free, costs you absolutely nothing. And come join our circle of friends here on YouTube and the internet. There's almost 10,000 of us, guys. We're, we're real close to the uh, last thousand stretch to hit that 10,000 subscriber mark. Very exciting. So, I'm showing you this guitar very up close and in detail so that you know a little bit of history, a little bit of uh, get yourself some knowledge on the Hofner brand, and get to know what this model looks like up close and in person as if you were holding it in your very own hands. Just a good tool as well so that you know what a good one looks like. This is crazy clean. So, this guitar, believe it or not, is 50 years old. It's half a century old. 1971, guys. It is the cleanest example we've ever seen. They did not make many of these, and there's a really cool story behind this. So, Hofner, if you want to read up on them, go on the old Wikipedia. There's some good articles elsewhere on uh, when the brand started in the 19th century. But in the 20th century, during the 60s specifically, Hofner became very popular because of the Beatles and just the general beat movement in the UK uh, with rock and roll music coming out. A company called Selmer, which was a British distribution company, got into business with Hofner and had these guitars built for the UK uh, and I think European markets. I think, I think maybe it was UK, Europe, and America. And it was really a British brand, Selmer, that took the ball and ran with it. And you know a Selmer guitar because before 1975, Hofner did not do serial numbers. So if you look in here, you can see serial number 511. You can also see the Senator SE1, which is the model and the model type, and 5124-05 is like the numerical model variant, kind of like what Gretsch did, I guess, during around the same time where they would use like a four-digit number, kind of like that, plus it would have a model name and type, but yeah. That's what we have here, guys. So, and as you can see, the serial number, 511, this being towards the, I, th I think they made like 590 senators ever. And they're not all the same. It kind of ran through, I think from the 50s to, through 1971. So they didn't make many of these each year. This is the very last year for this. After 71, Selmer and Hofner were no more. And that was it. And from what I've seen online, these are the very best ones. They have the most modern, applicable pickup that you would use in the studio or on stage today. Um, visually, I'm shocked that this thing's 50 years old. It is super, super crazy clean, guys. You've got Mother of Pearl inlay here on the headstock, as you can see. Really nice with the Hofner name. Rosewood fretboard, triple pearl dot inlays, which is neat. It's the only guitar I can think of that's had uh, used three dots for inlays. Tortoiseshell pickguard that's translucent. Very nice touch. A honey burst finish that they call brunette. You had either blonde or brunette. In my opinion, the brunette finish is the, uh, the best on these guitars. How you like your woman, that's a totally different story. But uh, for these brunettes, for sure, the best. The backs and sides have beautiful flame maple with very 3D kind of holographic effect. Check out uh, the back here. Again, you have a gorgeous kind of sunburst um, gradient where you not only have this stunning flame top or flame back, but you also have these beautiful waves of grain in the maple pointing up stunning guitar guys the uh the sides again look at the gorgeousness going on here with all of that 
flaming granary action. You love it. Hard to believe, again, 50 years old. Body binding on the top and back, as you can see, and binding in the F holes. Just very nice premium appointments. Even on the back here, you've got some more tortoise shell on the, uh, the neck heel. There is your input or output jack, depending on how you want to think about it. Gorgeous neck with, again, more flaming and figuring throughout. Come over to this side, where you can see all in the grain there. There's like a nice little light flame action all the way through. And then you've got your original vintage tuners with kind of pearl style buttons it looks like and then the back here genuine hoffner original made in germany great guys this is super super clean with such a low amount ever manufactured you're unlikely to come across one uh, especially for my american friends over in your local pawn shop or guitar store highly unlikely uh, and I guarantee you, you'll never find one this clean. I've looked high and low. This is the best of the best. Super duper clean, guys. In the very last year. So that's it. That's the end of it for Selmer and Hoffner. Like we said, um, this era is the most desirable, the most sought after. And this is the final run. So super, super cool. I think I've had one Hoffner before this one. But... Uh, uh, I hope to get my hands on more now that I've I've learned a bit more about them. I do see them at uh, I do see them pop up once in a while, and I've just never really taken the time to learn about the brand until I got this one. And now I'm now I'm in. I've caught the bug. I'm not generally a hollow body guy, but lately, I mean, I got a ton from a serious collector. I mean, there's a '63 Guild Dwayne Eddy. Go look at that on the channel. And then we've got this custom shop, Gibson Birdland. Um, my God, we've just had some awesome, awesome guitars lately, guys. All right. Well, that's going to wrap things up for me and this Hoffner. If you want to buy this guitar, the best place to buy any of my guitars, and every single one you see on the channel is for sale, unless it's already sold. But it's on the website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. We ship to any country in the world. For my American buyers, uh, if you live in a state that has online sales tax, you won't get charged that. Brilliant. We can also sell this, of course, on Reverb.com, our good friends Reverb. This will be there. Uh, but if you are in an American state that charges online sales tax, you will get charged sales tax ordering on that site. So just a little life hack there. Shopify powers our site. It's the same thing, same credit cards, PayPal, what have you. But um, yeah. One saves you a bit of money. Cool. And if you want to talk about this guitar, hit me up on all the social media accounts we have. It's at Essex Recording Studios on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all that jazz. And uh, what else? What else? What else? If you want to record with this guitar, please get in touch. We want to make some beautiful music with you. And one last thing I forgot to say about the guitar in this video is I learned something the other day. I learned what this cutaway is called. You're going to laugh at me, a lot of you, because I've owned a thousand guitars, and you think by now I would have already knew, known that, but I didn't. This is called a Venetian cutaway. So when you see the rounded horn, that is Venetian. When you see the sharp horn, that is Florentine. So that's a Venetian cutaway. The Birdland here, that is a Venetian cutaway. They make a Florentine version of that. That is a Venetian cutaway. That Gibson is a Venetian cutaway. I don't have any Florentines on me, but uh, you get the point, or rather, the round. There we go, ha ha ha. I gotta go, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll give you one last view of the, uh, the label in here. See how it says Senator SE1? From my research, the SE1 uh, only appears on the very last of these made. And I, I did notice that the pickup styles changed as it gets later. So that might just mean um, this style pickup it's a reference to. I don't know if it's special edition, 
but the, the appointments on this seem to be extra nice. If you are a Hofner expert, feel free to chime in and learn us some information. We love to learn over here. Love it. All right. I got to go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. More guitar videos coming up shortly after this. Bye-bye.